Do you have questions about your life insurance and estate planning? I'll try to answer those questions for you. So just to, from a general perspective, life insurance is something that pays on your death. And on your death, well, where does the life insurance pay? Well, it depends. Normally under a life insurance policy, you will have filled out a beneficiary designation. And that will say, well, where the proceeds pay upon your death. If you haven't filled it out, a beneficiary designation to say, oh, I want my assets to pay to my kids on my death, for example, then your life insurance proceeds may instead pay to your estate. And that might not be the best route to go. If your life insurance proceeds pay to your kids, they are not subject to any creditor's claims you may have. If your life insurance pays to your estate, then those proceeds are subject to creditor's claims. So if you were killed because of a car accident that you may have caused, if your life insurance has a beneficiary designation that says, pay to my kids, your kids will get the money. But if instead there's, it doesn't say that it pays to your kids, it's by default then it may pay to your estate, then those life insurance proceeds are within your estate and the creditor, the person who you may have injured in that car accident that killed you and you were at fault and they are injured, they're gonna seek damages against your estate. And if your auto liability insurance maxes out and doesn't have enough limits to pay for their damages, then that person will be able to recover more damages from your life insurance proceeds that paid to your estate. So that's just one example of why it's really important to understand uh, life insurance and where it pays. There's a lot of other things we could talk about like taxable estates and how to make your life insurance so it's not within your estate, uh, but that's a subject for another day. Mm -hmm.